Welcome to the first public meeting for the South Dakota State Highway 11 or Split Rock Boulevard corridor study. This segment of Highway 11, also known as Split Rock Boulevard in Brandon, begins at the intersection with East Redwood Boulevard in Brandon and extends south through the intersection with Highway 42 for a total distance of 5.7 miles. This study does not include a review of the interchange with I-90 as that interchange is already included in another study. For purposes of discussion at this public meeting, the project has been broken into three segments based on the character and context of the roadway and to allow you to focus on the highway segment that is most important to you. The north segment is the urban section in Brandon from East Redwood Boulevard south through the north intersection with East Aspen Boulevard. The middle segment is a rural transitional section that runs from the north intersection with East Aspen Boulevard south through the intersection with South Sioux Boulevard. The south segment is a rural highway section running from the intersection with South Sioux Boulevard south through the intersection with Highway 42. The purpose of this first public meeting is to provide an overview of the project, to involve the public in the study process in order to receive input and comments on the highway corridor, and to exchange ideas on how to make improvements. We'll provide information about current traffic operations along the corridor, identify safety concerns and crash history, and provide a forecast of traffic conditions in the future. We'll also provide information on how to provide comments and participate in a user survey. The following five goals and outcomes have been established for this study. The study will determine potential intersection configurations to provide acceptable traffic operations through the year 2050. We will also determine the need for additional through, turning, and passing lanes along the corridor. An access management plan will be developed to guide future driveway location decisions. We will identify and review environmental resources within the study limits that may be impacted by potential improvements. And the study will provide an implementation plan for construction and installation of the recommended improvements. A draft purpose and need statement has been developed to help guide the analysis of the corridor and aid in the evaluation of recommended improvements. The purpose of this study is to provide improvements to increase safety, to provide capacity improvements as needed to accommodate future traffic volumes, and to address locations with substandard roadway geometry or aging pavement conditions. Project goals represent issues that are important to the corridor but are not defined and measured to the same extent as the primary purpose. Two project goals have been identified for this corridor. Enhance multimodal corridor access and mobility, and accommodate future traffic volumes and freight movements. The segment of Highway 11 from West Park Street to the North Junction with East Aspen Boulevard requires major rehabilitation or reconstruction due to poor pavement conditions. Geometric conditions along segments of the Highway 11 corridor have been identified as not meeting current design standards. Improvements and or modifications to the roadway may be necessary in some locations. Intersection improvements may also be necessary due to the increase in development and urbanization along the corridor. Safety improvements may be necessary along segments of the corridor or at specific locations to address locations that have experienced higher than expected crash rates. This 19 month study is anticipated to be completed by the end of May in 2022. The study team has evaluated existing traffic operations and has begun to identify issues associated with current conditions as well as to accommodate future traffic volumes. Before we proceed with analysis of future conditions on the corridor, we wanna hear from the community and users of the highway to identify operational or safety concerns. After this 30-day virtual public meeting, the study team will begin work on development and evaluation of improvement concepts. These recommended improvements will then be presented in a second public meeting anticipated for December in 2021. A user survey has been developed to provide information to the study team with regard to conditions or observations from people that drive the corridor on a regular basis. The link to access the survey is provided on the project website, which can be found at www.sd11corridorstudy.com. 
This user survey will be open to the public for the entire 30-day period of this virtual public meeting, which will continue through July 2nd. There are two parts to the survey. The first part allows you to identify issues or concerns on the corridor directly on a map. The second part is a short user survey to share your thoughts on improvements you would like to see on the corridor. We are interested to learn if there are any safety concerns, roadway conditions, or other travel problems that you have observed on this segment of Highway 11, also known as Split Rock Boulevard in Brandon. What improvements do you think are the most needed on the study corridor? Are there other transportation related issues you would like to mention, including issues like pedestrian and bicycle facilities or access to businesses and homes along the study corridor? In addition to the user survey, you can leave comments and ask questions on the Get Involved page on the project website. You can provide project feedback through this page on the website or simply sign up for email updates. After completion of this 30-day virtual public meeting, the study team will conduct in-person meetings with stakeholders along the highway corridor and heavy users of the highway, like freight companies and quarry operators. These stakeholders will be contacted directly by the study team in order to schedule appointments. The study team will also identify needs, develop and evaluate potential improvements. We will also complete the review of environmental resources within the study area. The findings of the study will be presented at a second public meeting currently scheduled for December 2021. The final report for the study is targeted to be complete by the end of May 2022. If you have questions about the corridor study, please contact Steve Graham with the South Dakota Department of Transportation at the phone number or email address shown. You can also contact Jenica Wilcox with the engineering firm Felsberg Holt and Olavig at the phone number or email address shown. In addition to the South Dakota Department of Transportation, there are several other members of the study advisory team that we want to recognize that are participating in the study management. These include the city of Brandon, the city of Sioux Falls, Minnehaha County, the Southeastern Council of Governments, and the Federal Highway Administration. Thank you for viewing this presentation of the South Dakota 11 corridor study. To view the presentation video for a specific highway segment, please click on the appropriate link to navigate to the segment of interest.